concrete today to to pour the footings and I was thinking about the differences between shotcrete gunite and just pumping cement we used a shotcrete rig today to pump concrete but we didn't introduce air so we were simply pushing the mud and it acts like regular cement but once you add air to that and you add air at the end of the nozzle as it's coming out of the nozzle the cement becomes really sticky and we call that wet shotcrete and in that particular case you're having a batch truck bring it in so it's already pre-mixed cement pumping it through a hose and adding air at the last moment when you add air at the last moment it allows the shotcrete to place and stick and stay and then we can build up to be able to create the shape of a pool that versus gunite which is dry shotcrete or dry gunite whichever way you want to say it is it's wet gunite dry gunite wet shotcrete dry shotcrete what's happening is you're mixing a sand and cement dry mix pumping it through the, the hose and just as it comes out of the nozzle you add water instead of adding air air is pushing the material through then you're adding water and when you add water you create a sticky mix and you build up the surface so gunite and shotcrete are very different yet very much the same it's just a little different of a process but it's they're both a process of using uh, pneumatically pumped cement to form and shape a swimming pool. There's, there's another part to shotcrete, the dry versus wet mix. There's advantages of both. Dry gunite is easier to work with. You don't have as much of a set time because you can monitor the, the moisture level, the, the amount of water in it and how you're placing it. It's a little easier to cut and finer cut and shape because it's a sharp sand and cement versus a pea gravel and cement. The advantage though of using shotcrete is because it's a pre backed mix, mix it, you're going to have consistent mixes. You do have a shorter work time because it's already setting up by the time it leaves the plant. So when you get it placed, you only have a short time to work with it. But also, you're not can't cut it quite as fine and smooth because you're dealing with a bigger aggregate. Instead of just sand in the mix, you have little stones in the mix. But the advantage of doing it is it is stronger. If you look at a microscopic level, you can look at a com compressive strength level. Shotcrete, which is the wet mix, is a stronger product. Now, in most cases, maybe that doesn't matter, but if you're looking for extreme strength, shotcrete's gonna be the way to go.